Hey guys, how's it going? Rover here, welcome to another Epic 7 video. So for today we'll dive in the new pet system that was introduced from the latest patch. I'm just sharing my thoughts on this whole pet system thing, and one thing for sure, this is something that you have to slowly build up, especially if you are free to play player. This whole system is a resource sink, and the yield is just not necessarily worth it. I would definitely do this um, on the sideline, but not something that you should do, or not something that you should put a lot of your resources into. Now the first thing that I noticed is adopting new pets cost 1 million for 10 pulls. It's expensive, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. For an FTP player, this can be a nightmare if you are looking for the best pets. Heck, even getting pets with the ideal skill sets will be a chore. And you have to be very lucky to get even something close to this. The pets range from rank D to S, S being the high tier pet that you can get, and there are plenty of RNG layers that goes with this. I'll talk more about that later, but first, I currently have 12 pet tickets. I already used the 10 pet tickets that we get for free, and so far there's no S pets. Maybe this time, hopefully we'll get at least one. 4.5% chance XP, I think that one works for both artifacts and equipment. Not quite sure if heroes as well. We also got a D, a D rank skill, which is not that good to be honest. Next one, another D. 2.25, not good. Oh, we got an A rank. Plus 9% Enhance XP, so that's alright. I think anything above B is good to keep. 4.5% Enhance XP, yeah. 3% chance to receive one additional lesser charm. Now this one is really good, uh, but there's one skill that is that I recommend getting like first. Oh, this one's different. Oh, okay. So this is what happens when you get an S rank pet. So plus 11% event currency earned. This one is all right to get as well, but there's a better one in my opinion that you can get. So another S, 7.5 7 chance to receive two additional greater runes. Um, pretty good uh, if you are farming runes for maxing out your skill tree and it looks good as well like majority of the pets here looks really cute i guess that's one of the charms with the pet system is the appearance and the fact that you can um change their looks however you like it so the versatility here is a big plus Okay, just from those summons, there's already two different RNG going on here. So the first one is the skill rank and the second one is the skill effect. Pretty much it's random. You can get the perfect skill but have it on D, which sucks. I mean, if that happens, I would just use it as fodder. No point keeping it. So at the very start, um, you should be looking for specific skills that makes your life easier, whether it's hunt, side story, or enhancement. Then once you've found the skill you're looking for, then you got to look at the rank of this skill. I would keep any pets um, A rank or higher. Any less than that, then it's not worth it considering how much resources are dumped on these pets. Uh, if you're very unlucky, then you can keep uh, B pets too. Uh, but I think A and S would be really better. I'd say better to keep. You can level them up using pet food and other pets. Um, you can get the pet food from the shop. You should grab them whenever they're available. I mean, you can't get them anywhere else and you're gonna need it. Once they reach the max level, uh, you can synthesize it with another pet. When this happens, there's a chance that they either go up a star or stay the same. But whatever results you get, you, you will always get a random skill. 
The part that I'm not sure yet is whether the other pet's rank determine what kind of rank the new skill is. I mean, for example, if you have an A rank pet, synthesize with another A rank pet, we would get a higher chance of an A rank skill. You know, if someone has went full ham on pets, uh, let me know, that would be great. For an F2P player, um, I would just stick with that one skill that you want, rank them up and just accept whatever RNG gives you and stick with it. For me, I'd rather use my gold and gear enhancement rather than the pet system at the moment because there's too much RNG involved. Not to say I'll ignore it completely, I'd probably just do it slowly. I think there's a point in time when um, you can pick two skills of your choice. Uh, if that happens, I would get two pets with a main skill that you really want and then synthesize them together and pick those two skills. I think that would be the best way to, uh, well, to get the skills that you want. Now, you will definitely need pets for each type of content. One pet for hunt, spirit altar, event storyline, and enhancement. This is the reason why I would just stick to one skill, uh, since there are a lot of pets that you need to build up. And since there are too many RNG involved, it's really not worth it. About which skills to choose from, I don't know all the possible skills we can get from pets, but based on what I have, if you are looking for a pet for hunt, definitely get the skill which gives you a chance to get an extra equipment. It's too good to pass. I mean, you can also get the one uh, that gives you a chance to get a lesser charm. That's not bad at all. Heck, I'd say get both of them and just combine them together. For event and storyline, I'd go for increased catalyst drop rate just because you need those for enhancing skills and now with 3 star units not needing molagoras, you are going to run out pretty fast. Increase event currencies is also good but uh, that could be like the second skill that you want and if you really need it, I'd keep it uh, on S. For enhancement pets, um, it's a bit of, well, it's a bit in the gray area at the moment. I'm not sure which one is better. Maybe one of you can tell me in the comments, but either the increased success rate for equipment or the regular enhanced EXP. I assume the enhanced EXP effects, heroes, artifacts, and equipment, I think. But since there is a boost for good success, I assume there's also one for great success. And since this one is specifically equipment, there might be one for artifact and heroes? I don't know. I'm only guessing here at this point. For the spirit altar pet, I would go for more epic runes since they seem to have the lowest drop rate even at the highest stage. You can also go for the greater runes. Um, that's the one that I pulled with the S rank. It's pretty useful for... Uh, maxing skill trees, since those are the runes that you really need the most. Now the auto function is okay I suppose, but the fact that we have to farm the snacks does defeat the purpose, unless there was a way to refill the snacks quickly, and getting them as drops just doesn't cut it. Aside from that, the pets are pretty cute, and we can change their looks to our liking, so that's a nice plus. Alright, that's all I have to share regarding the new pet system. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another Epic 7 video. Alright, cheers. Rover out.